I don't know what's going on with it. Not a good move. That's not good. I'm trying to shoot for the stars right now. I cannot make any mistakes today. Oh, dear. Oh, this is exciting. Three unforgettable courses in just three hours. And the clock will not stop. You have 10 minutes in the pantry to collect your ingredients. So are you ready to take home that title? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your time in the pantry starts now. <laughs> Andre, what inspiration are you drawing on today? Today, my menu is inspired by my entire family. So for the appetizer, I am making a lobster rundown. It is a coconut milk cooked down lobster. For my main, I am making a curried goat basam. That's a Korean dish, and I'm putting my take on it. And for my dessert, I am making a deconstructed toron, which is a Filipino spring roll. I'm working on the rundown, so I got a head, a tail, Oh yeah, boil it. I'm doing this for my dad. He always made rundown at his restaurant and it would fly off the shelves. That's gonna cook up a bit. Hi there, Andre. Hey, Chef. So tell me about your appetizer. A rundown is basically fish cooked down in coconut milk. And today I'm elevating it by putting lobster with a kalalu puree and boiled dumpling. So I'm assuming that you've cooked lobster this way before, Nick? Never. Never cooked lobster? Never cooked lobster. Do you think that was wise, pulling lobster out on such an important night like tonight? I got to pull out all the guns today, so. Taste every element, right? Yes. Seasons like a king. Roz, I need a sous chef, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the dumplings today like some gnocchi. It should take about five or six minutes to get a nice cook on it. Dumpling time. I'm looking down at Andre's station, and his dumplings aren't boiling. If they sit in just warm water, they get tough. I don't know what's going on with it. Not a good move. That's not good. I'm trying to shoot for the stars right now. I cannot make any mistakes today. Oh, dear. You need that heat of that water just to almost put a seal on them and allow them to cook slowly from the outside into the center. I want to make sure that it's cooked properly. So I change burners, and I put it on the blast burner, and I crank it up. Good. Do your thing. Look at those tails of lobster that he's just cooked. They look spectacular. He has amazing intuition. Oh, nice and soft. I'm going to start plating. You got this. Come on. Nice. That looks amazing. Wow. Thanks, guys. Looks fabulous. Thank you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. I don't care that I never cooked lobster before. This is my last cook in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. You gotta go big or go home. First up for tasting is Andre's Lobster Rundown with a coconut callaloo puree on a bed of boiled dumplings. I love what I see on the plate. It's Caribbean Carnival. It's all about those great colors. And I think the proportions are really spot on. You can see there's a lot of imagination behind the dish. It's a good balance of savory, sweet, bitter, and you can identify it all. Nothing is overpowering each other, which is very, very important. You can see the lobster is perfectly cooked. I can't believe this is Andre's first time ever cooking a lobster. This kalalu puree. It is silky smooth, and I like the coconut reacting with the usually very bitter flavor coming from this very leafy vegetable. There's only one misstep in my opinion. The dumplings are slightly tough, and that's because his water was not boiling. Oil. Woo! Come on, guys. Good job, guys. Come on, come Good on. Good job. Boy, Andre. OK, what's next? Lamb. <laughs> I'm making Mary's little lamb. This course is really different than the appetizer course. This course has a zillion elements. It's going to be lamb shanks with hay-smoked oats, some sour cherries, some demi-glace cherry glaze, and uh, some mint fleece. They all require a lot of time, effort, and care. It's game time. I think it's going to be worth it in the end. Doing great, Andre. You got it. These ones are a little too big. Everything got to look good. Keep going, keep going. Two different approaches. Jennifer is going very conceptual, and Andre is going rustic Caribbean. 
but the flavors that he knows and loves. I'm making a curry goat wasam. My wife is inspiring this dish because <laughs> she always takes me out to a million Asian restaurants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing a Jamaican curry goat dish into a Korean dish. Nice knife skills. <laughs> <laughs> My osan platter will be made up of goat two ways. I'm braising goat loin, and I'm currying goat. Also caramelized kimchi, the dark hot, a green mango salad, and a green onion ginger sauce. Well, that's good. Korean, Caribbean. I like that. If you can get it right, you're going to get beautiful combinations of flavor and spices. What is that, Andre? Gochujang. It's like a spicy red pepper paste. Is that for the salad, too? That's for the mango salad. Oh, nice. Is it good? Could use something to mellow it up. More honey? Yeah, and some lime. I just got to make sure I don't overthink everything and just do what I do best, flavors. Get uh, some salt in there. He still has to do the other goat. This is goat loin. I'm serving this goat two ways. For the curried goat in the pressure cooker, almost there. It's going to have a pulled pork consistency. For the braised goat, it's going to be nice and tender like a filet mignon. I'm going to braise it, baste it in butter, and get it nice. I'm looking for a medium rare cook on my goat loin. If I don't get the cook on this goat right, I'm just handing the trophy directly to Jennifer. Goat. How's the goat? Andre is opening up his pressure cooker. How is it? Tastes good. I some salt. Go, Andre, go. How are you doing, man? I think I'm doing well. What are you going to do with the cabbage? The cabbage is what they're going to eat it out of. So they're going to wrap it and put it in the cabbage. Oh, OK. One minute. You only have one more minute to Andre time. Look at those dishes. Wow. Oh, that looks so delicious. Thanks, guys. Nice, Jennifer. Oh, my God. Wow. Hey. You got it, buddy. Nine, you got it. Eight, eight, seven, six, four, five, four, three, two, one. And it's up. That's it. OK. Bosam has probably never been seen like this before. I think the judges will really like it. Next up is Andre's entree, a curried goat bosam with pulled curried goat, sliced goat loin, caramelized kimchi, and a mango salad in gochujang sauce. First thing in my mind is I really got to dig into this dish. Once you smell that aroma of the curry, of all the spices coming from Korea and the Caribbean, and making it a bosam, OK, something wrapped in lettuce, which is going to take the edge away from the heat, is perfect. Look at the color on the goat loin. It's perfectly cooked, perfectly rested. I am really excited to try this. I got to tell you, the flavor is out of control. It's so multi-layered. There's so many flavor components to it. It's sweet. There's acidity, wonderful development of spices and heat. The flavors are absolutely magnificent. And that is Andre's gift, that perfect cooked roast loin, the wonderful savory flavors of the curry, the kick of heat from the kimchi and the mango. A bit of Caribbean, a bit of Korean mixed together. This dish is fusion at the highest level, and not bad from a guy from Scarborough. <laughs>